In this lab session, you will be learning how to perform the differential stain known as the acid fast stain. The acid fast stain is a staining technique that allows for the detection of cells that contain mycolic acid in their cell wall. Mycolic acid is a waxy lipid that makes the cell wall hydrophobic and thus causes the cell wall to act as a barrier to hydrophilic substances, including aqueous staining solutions and water soluble antibiotics and disinfectants. Few bacteria contain mycolic acid, but included within those few are some notably important pathogens. Mycolic acid is found in the cell walls of bacteria in the genera Mycobacteria and Acardia. Mycobacterium tuberculosis and Mycobacterium leprae are two species that cause the well-known diseases of tuberculosis and leprosy, respectively. Nocardia brasiliensis and Nocardia asteroides are opportunistic pathogens. In addition to members of these two genera of bacteria, the acid fast stain may also be used to detect protozoan parasites within the genera Cryptosporidum. The acid fast stain is not used as frequently as the gram stain because few bacteria contain mycolic acids. However, it is a very important tool utilized when the infection is believed to be caused by an acid fast organism. The protocol outlined in your NCTC lab manual is the Zill Nelson Acid Fast Staining Protocol. You will heat fix your bacterial samples before proceeding with the staining procedure. The primary stain used in the acid fast stain is carbofuxin, a dark red dye containing 5% phenol. The carbofuxin is lipid soluble, which allows it to penetrate the cell wall. To better facilitate the penetration of the carbofuxin into the acid fast cells that contain mycolic acid, the slide is exposed to steam heat after the primary stain is added. The steam heat serves to melt the wax and allow the dye to enter the cell wall. As the slide is cooled, the wax traps the primary stain. The decolorizer used in the acid fast stain is an acid alcohol. The acid alcohol is a mixture of hydrochloric acid and ethyl alcohol. As the decolorizer is applied to the cells, the primary stain is washed out of non-acid fast cells, leaving them colorless. Cells containing mycolic acid hold fast or tightly to the primary stain even with exposure to the harsh decolorizer, and thus are termed acid fast cells. Acid fast cells now appear red at the end of the decolorizing step. The counter stain, methylene blue, is added to stain the non-acid fast cells. The methylene blue is unable to penetrate the waxy mycolic acid, but is easily able to penetrate the non-acid fast cells. So at the end of the procedure, acid fast cells will appear red and non-acid fast cells will appear blue. Let's take a look at some expected results for your lab session. Again, you will be examining all five species listed in Exercise 3 of your lab notebook. Mycobacterium sphygmatis is an acid fast rod. Some things to take note of when you are examining your samples is that Mycobacterium species clump together and demonstrate a phenomenon known as cording. The waxy cell walls make the cells of Mycobacterial species sticky, so they tend to clump together. Cording is the tendency of mycobacterial cells to grow end-to-end, -end, giving them a rope-like appearance. Some clumping is apparent in the image seen on the screen to the left. Another important thing to note is that if you were analyzing an unknown sample, you would only be able to determine that the sample was an acid-fast rod. Additional tools would be needed to determine the species of the sample. In our lab procedure, you are given a pure culture of mycobacterium sphygmatis and that is why you were able to identify the species name. Escherichia coli, as we saw in the gram stain procedure, is a small rod. This can be observed on the screen in the right image. Take note that the small rods are blue, so this tells us that E. coli is a non-acid fast bacteria. Bacillus subtilis, seen in the image on the left of the screen, is a non-acid fast bacteria as well as the Staphylococcus aureus seen on the right. Note that you can still observe other morphological details about both of these organisms. You can still make out the large bacillus shape on the left of the bacillus subtilis, and on the right it is apparent that these are cockle cells. 
The Staphylococcus sample was not incubated long enough to be able to observe clusters of cells. You are not provided with a Streptococcus pneumoniae image in this video because I do not have one at this time. What you should expect to see in the lab is caucus shaped cells that are methylene blue following the staining procedure, indicating that the bacteria is non-acid fast.